Jordan Spieler right off the uh, best two out of three here, University National, 75 mm -hmm. kilos, 2014 champion. Smashing everybody, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was the result. Having fun, you know, going out, throwing guys, a couple five-point throws. Yeah. How much fun is that? It's fun. It's always good to come to tournaments, you know, and uh, it's going to be a big preparation for my uh, upcoming uh, world team trials. So I knew coming in here, you know, I'd build a lot of good confidence in, in my wrestling and, you know, if I make mistakes, you know, I can critique them in practice after the tournament. But uh, coming in here was fun for me, you know. I came in here, you know, not just to win, but to conquer. And, and that was the result. That was a fun result. Five people off balance and get a point scored on me. So it was good coming in here and getting that confidence right before the trials. Looking at, you know, you were just over in Iran. What was it like being over in Iran? It, it, was, a, it was a different world. Um, the wrestling over there, how, how they take it so seriously is uh, just unbelievable. It's a, it's a wrestler's dream come true. I mean, uh, they they worship wrestlers. So uh, we were walking by, you know, the stores and the sto store owners would come out, offer us gifts, you know, just because we're American and because we're, you know, wrestlers going for the World Cup. And, uh, you know, the crowd is just insane. Um, it's like a, a football stadium. I mean, they, they praise the wrestling. Um, you know, you can't even hear yourself think. It was very hard to focus because, you know, they're chanting your name and they don't, they, I've, the first time I've been to the country, they're chanting my name against the Russians because they, they want the Russians to lose so bad. So uh, it was definitely an outstanding experience for me. And, uh, you know, it's like a, a dream come true, you know, really. Looking at the, you know, taking you back to the U.S. Open, Vegas. Talk about your semifinal match, one of the craziest Greco matches I've ever seen with uh, the B sick. Andy B sick, yeah. What was what's going through your mind in a match like that? Well, first thing was you know, I'm wrestling the number one guy in the you know in the country and um, you know the first thing is you know all or nothing. And you know, in that first period I approached it that way, you know, um, all or nothing and that's the attitude I had and um, you know, I, I had some, you know, controversial, controversial uh, calls, but, um, you know, that may mess with my head a little bit coming into the second period. But, after, you know, after the first period, you know, I looked to my coach and we were talking and it's like, I can't believe I just did that. It was almost surreal that, you know, I was, you know, getting those throws and, you know, giving them a, you know, really good match. So, uh, you know, coming into the second period, I, you know, I kind of... Uh, got out of focus and you know coming down to parterre you know parterre is a, one of the biggest tools you can have in wrestling because you know eventually it's going to go down to the ground one way or another and you know um, I did uh, have some brain farts on bottom and didn't defend too well so uh, you know but you know that's that that's leading up to this tournament you know I, you know I'll win the one that counts so you know it was a great match you know it was uh, I watch it all the time and you know it always gets me pumped up because you know that, that, that was an awesome match. It was just great. You've got a lot of, you know, offense. You, you'll throw anyone. How many fives this weekend, by the way? Um, I think uh, three, uh, four or five. Four or five. Four or five. How many fours? Um, I don't know. I think they're all fives. Do you lose track? I, I, I don't know. I, I guess so, yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm out there to score, and that's what I do. If, if it's a four, it's a four. If it's five, it's a five. But I've been seeing fives more than fours. I, didn't, I don't think I saw a four yet. Knowing so you're a guy, match. you're a guy with big move potential. You can go out there, you can throw anyone in the world. Has that ever put you out of a match? I, I don't think so. I mean, I always look for the body, and that's, you know, that's what Greco-Roman wrestling is. It's it's throws, and if you're not trying to throw, then you're not wrestling Greco. If you're looking to just get a push out, or just to get a passivity call, then you know you're no hero. That's heroes go for the big stuff, and that's what I like to think I am a, a hero in Greco wrestling. So yeah, senior level. Where are your trials at? Some guys are in Fargo. Some guys are in Daytona Beach. Some people are next weekend in Madison. Where do you got to go to get on the senior level team? Well, I'll be going to Daytona. It's my uh, backyard. Uh, it's about 40 minute drive from where I live in Oviedo. So I'll be able to bring a big support system. And you know that, that's going to give me the, the push through that adversity when, the, uh, when it comes. So uh, Daytona Beach, uh, June 13th. And I uh, have a big support system. So it's going to be good. Matt Lindland, the new head Greco coach for USA Wrestling. How do you feel about that? Knowing a guy like Matt's heading up the program now, someone who's you know a proven guy in the Olympic Games himself and the World Championships. Having a guy like Matt Lindland as your head coach, what's that like for you now? I think you know if if the change is for the better, then why 
why not? I mean, um, I think it's great. You know, he's, uh, he's he has his credentials, and not just only in the sport of wrestling, but you know, and also different various martial arts. So he's a he's a man with uh, different skills, and um, I feel like you know he's had the experience as well. I mean, Olympic uh, silver silver medalist. I mean, that's pretty good, you know. Uh, so and he's he's fresh and he's a new coach so you know he's gonna he's gonna have that uh, that will to you know get the guys in the room as much as possible and to you know really develop the program and uh, you know it's sad to see uh, Steve Frazier go because he's uh, he was a he's a great inspiration for me and you know but you know it happens so um, and it's for the better so I think they made a great decision uh, Linlin is a great coach uh, we talk almost every tournament and you know he's always you know been in my corner and you know. He's always been rooting for me, so uh, I think he's a, a, a great aspect to USA Wrestling and the new Greco program. Do you, does it change where you're going to train or anything like that? I don't believe so, um, no. Uh, I may take more visits uh, to Colorado Springs because uh, I do want to get more experience with, uh, with the guys that are training over there. But uh, you know, I have a great setup in Florida uh, at the Florida Jets. Uh, we call it the USA, it's a regional center, the USA Southeast uh, Regional Training Center. And um, we have great setups over there with uh, different guys. So, uh, you know, I may, you know, move um, from time to time to Colorado Springs, but um, nothing permanent, no. All right, Jordan, you got anything else for me? No, I think I'm good. All right, yeah. thanks for the time. Congratulations on the title. Thank good you. luck in Daytona Beach. Thank you very much.